Hey everyone, it's Margaret here. It's been a while. I've been busy um, doing a complete rehaul of my craft room and uh, now it turns out that uh, the craft room has spilled over into another little room that we have uh, just beside my craft room. Um, it was a little room we were using for our library and uh, hubby said I could uh, have it and uh, so I was able to move some of my storage into that room and I'm in the process of decorating that a uh, little bit in the shabby chic style. In the meantime I have started crafting a little again and uh, the first project that I've completed uh, uh, was this uh, pretty uh, vintage uh, pillow. Um, I have posted some pictures on Facebook, but um, I did mention that I would do a video on it. Now this uh, this pillow is called Dream a Little Dream. And uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of an asymmetrical kind of person. I, I like to do things off center. But once again, I have used a lot of my vintage um, laces on this pillow and all these um, all these uh, laces have been hand stitched on. A lot of people ask me if I sew or glue and I actually do both. Um, I like to sew on. The rule of thumb really for me is sew when you can and when it's awkward to sew um, or faster if you're using textured uh, materials then you glue. But this particular pillow, I was able to use, uh, first of all, this outer um, vintage lace, again, which was uh, stitched on by hand. And then I did another layer of this other type of uh, vintage lace, again, uh, forming a double ruffle all around. And then um, using the same lace as the second border, I formed a cluster of ruffles on the one side. And um, this fabric is actually beautiful. I had just a small piece of it, but I was able to get uh, just enough to make this one pillow. And as you can see, it's got this raised ribbon embroidery, and I used like a cream color satin base on the, on the bottom. And uh, the color combination is really pretty because it gives you that nice vintage look. Um, so going back to the front, um, I have uh, this beautiful image of this uh, beautiful uh, sleeping uh, beauty and uh, therefore the name of the pillow, Dream a Little Dream. And all I've done really was just use some um, wedding dress appliques in rows and layers to form the little border or the little frame around her. And then on this side, I've used a cluster of these little um, uh, cream satin rosettes. Again, they came from a wedding dress. I didn't make these ones. And a couple of them, as you can see, um, came with the actual beading uh, right on it. Um, I added these little uh, uh, pearled embellishments here. Again, um, some pearled embellished, embellishments from the wedding dress. Um, and uh, these little dangles in the satin and pearl, uh, just to add a little bit of uh, fun and interest. Now you can see on the bottom I've used, uh, I found this on a garment actually, and there wasn't too much of it, but I grabbed it. It's, uh, it's a beautiful uh, trim in a tassel style. And then I've added some flat back pearls all the way along the, the edge at the end. And um, that uh, pretty well pretties up the whole pillow. And again, here I've used this uh, beautiful rose uh, applique uh, or trim that I had. Again, that was from a wedding dress. And this piece here was from a lady's blouse. Again, it came already with the um, with the pearls. And um, I really love that uh, ribbon ribbon embroidery, which picks up on the base fabric. So, ladies, that's my uh, uh, dream a little dream pillow. I will be listing these. Um, this particular pillow on Etsy. I also have done a little bit of de-stashing. Um, I have some uh, a beautiful crocheted tablecloths that I need to uh, I need to uh, eliminate. I just have too much stuff and I'm just getting buried. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep a watch on my Etsy shop and uh, my Facebook page and uh, hopefully I can get those listed um, when I have a little time. Um, Time is really a luxury for me these days. I don't know what happened, but it seems that going forward, uh, 
um, I just have less and less time to spend crafting and I'm the type that once I start a project I like to finish it and unfortunately it's been start and stop and with the craft room overhaul it's kind of set me back but anyway I'm back in the mood I'm ready to go so I hope you enjoyed this I hope you like it ladies and uh, hope to you hope to see you again soon with another project bye for now